This is no longer the old male valet taking care of the human orchid, gorgeous George. It is quite a young charmer by the name of Cherie Dupre. And she kindly bids uh, Elio DiPaolo to move out of his corner so she can, if I can use the word, decontaminate that particular area. I'm getting a whiff of this stuff right now, and uh, I don't, I'm sure it isn't Chanel number five, but it's uh, a close uh, fifth or sixth, I guess. I think at least all of the males in our audience will Holy mackerel, does that look like ermine? I wouldn't be a bit surprised. She tells Mr. Gorgeous George that she's ready if he is. And here comes the triumphant entry. It may be a while before we'll pick him up in the ring, but Gorgeous George, the human orchid, is on his way. Getting back to what I was saying before, I think the males will vote for this valet instead of valet most any day. And here comes the gorgeous one. Gorgeous George, 214 pounds, a beautiful man from Beaumont, California. You can't take it away from him. He's a great showman. And what a robe he has on tonight. Gold. with a yellow handkerchief on his left lapel, studded with rhinestones. He's stepping now on the ermine, I think. Gorgeous George, is that ermine? Getting a little taste on the soles of the feet. We'll go along with ermine because it looks much richer than me. The Georgie pins are now coming out. And if past performances hold true, they'll be distributed to the fans here at ringside. They tell me that uh, Gorgeous George buys these Georgie pins by the 100,000. If you don't mind, we'll just stand by and see what's going on. Oh, I see. I'm surprised it isn't a curtsy, however. I'm sure Gorgeous George is convinced by this time that we have uh, nothing but trash in our audience here at Buffalo's Memorial Auditorium. And there go the Georgie pins. With a delicate little flip of the wrist. I must go by ordering these at a hundred thousand at a time. He's quite stingy in distributing them. One at a time. Utter disdain for the left. And young fans fighting for them down here on the floor. Now gorgeous George has given the okay for the ring announcer Manny Weiss. Your attention ladies and gentlemen. The main event, one fall to a finish from Abruzzi, Italy, weighing 245, Ilio Di Paolo. On a step his opponent the with his valete, Sherry Dupre, from Beaumont, California, weighing 214, the human orchid, Gorgeous George. Well, you can see how they've chosen upsides here tonight, and Gorgeous George is not uh, particularly uh, happy with the crowd. I think he's just about to check his hands to see if Elio DiPaolo's hands are clean before they start tangling with one another. Gonna give him a check and see if he took his shower before the match. Like the man on television says, if you haven't used something, you should.
But I have no fear for Elio DiPaolo. He's a very clean, upright young man. And certainly, uh, oh, now Joe Moscato, the referee, gets a little. This bout hasn't even gotten underway yet, if you can imagine. Jerry Dupre, the valet, was uh, using that atomizer pretty well. And it arcs back to the days of when they used it over Bob Wagner. The bout is now officially underway with an airplane spin. If you think gorgeous George's days, you should see this crowd. They're all breaking around the, the ring now. Gorgeous George is completely dazed. He has no idea what's happened. Just about ready to take it out on his female valet. But she's got the atomizer in her right hand. He's blaming his defeat on his valet. But slight though she may be, she can handle that thing, I can assure you. The human orchid faded in 17 seconds. The winner, Ilio Di Paolo. Gorgeous George is still protesting that that airplane spin was not legal and he wants to get this match underway once again. But of course, it's all over officially and that's the way it'll stay in the record books. Ilya DiPaolo winning over Gorgeous George in a matter of 17 seconds after his famous airplane spin. But don't go away. There's probably going to be plenty of action in this ring yet. One young man off to our side said, holy cow, and I think Gorgeous George, though he wouldn't use the same words, is uh, feeling just about the same way. Ilya DiPaolo on the...